Hello everybody, this is Craig Cunningham, and in this video I'm going to talk about using Movie Maker with Google Drive. If you remember, the reason that we need to do this is because we, we're using Movie Maker to work on our movies in class in the computer lab. And uh, of course we download various files, images, sounds, narration, things like that. Uh, and those files uh, hopefully are all in one folder on your desktop. But at the end of class, we have to uh, upload that folder, including everything, uh, up to the Google Drive. And the reason is because the computers in the lab are wiped clean every night. So those folders, those files are not preserved uh, on the computers in the lab, and we have to save them somewhere. So we've been saving them to Google Drive. At the end of class last week, I saved my files to Google Drive, uh, one folder containing everything. And I'm now at home, and what I need to do is I need to uh, download that folder to my home desktop, and then I can work on my movie again using Movie Maker. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download your folder from Google Drive and uh, to your home computer or to another computer and then work on your movie and then at the end of working on your movie that session uploading everything back up to Google Drive. Now it's very important that you have everything in one folder uh, and I have been doing that um, consistently while I've been demonstrating this to you. I've been putting everything in one folder and uh, we need to do that because otherwise it becomes a real pain to upload and download everything. So I'm going to open up uh, Google Drive. I'm going to move this thing out of the way for now. And I'm going to open up the drive. And I don't see the drive because Firefox is behaving a weirdly. i got to scroll over here. Okay, so I'm going to run Google Drive. And if you remember, we had created a TIE 300 folder and put everything in the TIE 300 folder in its own folder. So if I open up my TIE 300 folder, there it is. I open up my TIE 300 folder, then in that folder I will find another folder called John Dewey. All right, where is it? Let me go back to my drive. I might have two TIE 300 folders. That would be a problem, but it's quite possible. I do have two, two TIE 300 folders. See, one there and one there. This is the one that I've been using most recently. So I'll open up that one. And in that, I have a folder named John Dewey. So I'm going to download that whole folder to my home desktop. So I'm going to right click it and up pops a menu of options. And the one I'm going to choose is download. So I'm going to click on download. And what it'll do is it'll prepare the download. See that's happening down here. And uh, it zips those files up into one compressed file called a zip file. It's like zipping up a jacket. It zips all the files up into one, fo one file, and then that file is downloaded. So now what do I want to do with that file uh, when it's downloaded? Well, Windows Explorer will uh, handle the zipped file, and I'll be able to get the folder and all of its contents out of it. So I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer. So I click OK, and it downloads the file and opens it into Windows Explorer. Now you'll notice that the file name is up here at the top and you have this thing saying compressed folder tools. I don't want to do anything right there right now but I just want to point that out. Now what I'm going to do is copy the folder. The folder contains everything that was up on the drive. I'm going to copy the folder. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to choose copy. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. Right here I'm going to go to my desktop let me change my view here because it's got this uh, preview pane on it, which I don't need right now. 
All right, so now I'm going to uh, paste the folder right onto my desktop. You can ignore that other stuff on my desktop for now. All right, so I'm going to paste the folder onto my desktop. And there it is. There's my John Dewey folder right there. Okay, and let me now open it up and show you what's in it. Okay, in the folder are all the files that I have been working on uh, for on my movie. Um, I've got my image files, which are these. I've got my uh, narration file right there. I've got the uh, music file that I applied there. This is the video that I made at the end of class last week. Uh, again, video is different from the Movie Maker project file. Got to keep that in mind. Um, and I made the video just to kind of have a backup of everything. There's my Movie Maker project file. And then here is my Google Doc, uh, which has been translated into a Word document when I downloaded it. All right, and that contains the URLs and the images that I've used so far. Now, okay, so I can change my view here to show uh, icons. And then when I do that, you can see uh, better what's in the folder. You can see image files. You can see the, the narration file another image, you can see the music file, you can see the video that I generated, the Movie Maker project file, and the uh, sources document. Now, to run Movie Maker, all I have to do now is open up the Movie Maker project file. So I'm going to double click that, and that will open up into Movie Maker. Now, if everything has done, been done right, then everything should show up in uh, movie Maker. Now, I got some issues here. All right. So for some reason, uh, Movie Maker is looking in one place for my files and not finding them. All right. So I have to find those files. Now, the reason for this is because uh, there's a different operating system on my home computer than there was in the lab. And so the actual location of the files on the computer is different, even though it's the same folder name on the desktop. It's different. So what I got to do is I got to double click one of these yellow uh, caution signs and it gives me the option of finding it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my desktop and there's my John Dewey folder right there. So I'm going to open that up and now this imperfect echoes thing is right there. So I'm going to click open and now it fixes the uh, sound files. Now it didn't fix the, uh, looks like it didn't fix the narration file right here. So let me double, oops, let me double click to find that. And I'm going to find the narration file. And again, it's in my desktop, in my John Dewey folder. Uh, there it is. And I want to click open. And now it'll get rid of that yellow bar as well. Now, here's my movie maker. All right. I've got everything in here. I've got the title, titles. I've got the music. I've got the narration and I've got the images. Okay. Let me change the size of these icons just to make it work a little better for our purposes. Oh, that doesn't help. Let me change the zoom. There we go. That helps. Okay. All right. So now uh, I'm going to work on this for, for a second. Okay. So um, one of the things I don't have uh, in my movie yet is I don't have a image of John Dewey's laboratory schools that he founded. So I'm going to get that. So I'm just going to save this just to be sure since I did fix those problems and I don't want to have to deal with that again. All right. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to go to the back to uh, Firefox. I'm going to open a new window in Firefox and I'm going to go find a image of Dewey Laboratory School. All right. And then I'm going to go to images. And um, okay. So here's the cover of a book. Uh, 
I don't know. Here's one. For, this looks like it's probably a Dewey Laboratory School type picture. Let's uh, look at it a little bigger. Um, John Dewey and the Theory uh, Garden Laboratory at the University Elementary School. That's what we want. So I'm going to view that image. And then I'm going to uh, copy the image, or I'm going to download the image to my desktop as we wait for it to load into Google. Well, come on, Google. It's taking you so long. I see this little thing spinning up here, which tells me that it's being downloaded. But for some reason, it's taking some extra time. I'm going to cancel it and do it again. All right? Go to view image. It shouldn't take that long to come here. All right, so I'm going to give up on that image. I don't know why it's not coming through. How about we go to um, here's a good one. All right, so I'm going to view the image. There it is. All right. So I'm going to copy, or I'm going to save the image as. I'm going to save it to my desktop in the John Dewey folder. And I'm going to save the image. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm also going to copy the URL. And I'm going to put it in my sources folder. Um, somewhere I have my drive. I'm going to open up the sources for video. Well, that's not my drive. There's my drive. I'm going to open up the sources for video file while I'm here and make that change. I'm going to add that URL. And then I'm going to copy the image and put that in as well. So I put in the URL. Now I'm going to go back to the image and I'm going to copy the image and then put that back in my sources document, paste it in. All right, good. So I'm going to close that now because I'm going to do, only do this one file. Okay, so now I have a new image in my um, file here. Now I can't see it, so I got to refresh this so that we can see it. And there it is right there. All right. So I'm going to go back to Movie Maker. And I'm going to go back to my home menu. Home. And I'm going to add videos and photos. I'm just going to add this one. Again, from the desktop. From the John Dewey folder. And this is the one right here that I'm going to add. Okay. Add that photo. And it put it right up here. Now, I don't really want it right there. I want to put it over here. All right so that it's after his young young man image and then I can talk about it here all right now I'm running out of time with my uh, my video uh, recording here so I'm going to uh, skip my, the next step I was going to do um, but I'm going to come back and do a second video that is going to show how I finalize my work on this and then upload everything to the drive okay so I'll be back in a couple minutes with the second video.